freaks we are getting set up for a tuesday afternoon evening depending on maybe it's morning or night who knows whatever part of the freaking world that you're in it is tuesday afternoon here we're starting with this boot camp session we're going to get you warmed up stretched out but all you need for this entire training session is two different types of bands a monster band where it's a big loop band like this i just have a couple of options because if you have several different weight several different thicknesses intensities you can switch it out depending on what exercise we're on or you could just stick with one if you have it whatever works you need a monster band the exercise band it's either attached to a pole like these over here An exercise band with a handle technically these would work also on a pole if you only had a few of these you'd link them together with your little girl scout knot like this and tie it around a pole if you had to and you just wouldn't have a handle but all the same exercise will work the same way it just works better if you have an exercise band on a pole with a handle and then a monster band i have two different options there for two different weights and then two different options for this monster band that is all you freaking need for the day and if you don't even have a band you let you could really follow this along with two dumbbells we're going to be going for long sets and circuits combining stuff together so hold on i gotta get a Had to get a special peak physique paperweight to hold the pages down anyway we're gonna get rolling we're gonna get warmed up you don't need these bands yet to get warmed up so let's get started with a warm-up we need the shoulders loose we need the legs loose we're gonna be going upper body lower body core working the whole freaking body get your heart rate up get literally showing you how you can get the best shape of your life with a fucking rubber band how is that how how good is that shit let's go Loose up your shoulders. We're going to walk forward with big forward shoulder circles. Then walk backwards. What's up, D. Cleasy? Walk backwards and Pamela Hawkins. Walk backwards. As you go backwards, forward shoulder circles when you're walking forward. Hi, Tyson. You're my best friend. Backwards. Mess you up, boy. Backwards shoulder circles going backwards. One more time each. Just getting loose, getting loose. And then back, coming back. All right, right in place. We're gonna go quad stretch. Quad stretch. Knee hug, knee hug. I think Facebook is a little high. I gotta give you down. Lower you down to the crotch cam for Facebook. So we're gonna go quad stretch, quad stretch. Awesome, first time we're doing it overnight. Just have a different experience, be able to get outside out into the mountains and train in the middle of the night. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Stretch those quads and knee hugs, getting legs ready. Our legs are still sore to shift from our 24 hours of weightlifting that we just did this weekend, just finished on Sunday, and we still worked out. We trained Monday, trained Tuesday. I'm gonna tell you all about that later on today, 5 p.m., so an hour and a half after this, or an hour after this class, 5 p.m., which Steve says, episode number 95, gonna be going over all the lessons learned in the suffering from the 24 hour weight lift, weight Lifting challenge. I always freaking say weight loss challenge. All right, we're gonna warm up with the bands right off the bat. We just got you loosened up real quick. We're gonna start with one of your bands on your pole, a light band. We're gonna get our, our shoulders warmed up, rotator cuff warmed up. Simple stuff. So if you have a monster band on the pole, whatever, we start with our right hand. Don't forget, Facebookers and Instagrammers, this is all backwards. This is my right hand. My elbow's in at my side, and my right arm is coming in. Right arm is coming in. We're just going to bring my stomach get across my stomach. Then I'm going to take my right hand. Not flipping around. Now my right arm is going out. So I'm just working deep inside my shoulder, getting loosened up for all the work we're about to do. Just five or six reps each one. Just getting started. Flip around. Left arm going out. Rotate it out. Don't bounce size. It's lower. Get your elbow stuck in at your side. Only as far as you can get without twisting your body. And now go right arm. Facing forward, 90 degrees right here. And rotate forward with 90 degrees. And switch arms, left arm going forward. So I'm facing out, ah, oh, yeah. You gotta do this when you before you do it overhead and you gotta say, ah, oh, fuck, or oh, yeah. Rotate forward, 90 degrees. Flip around, right arm going back, 90 degrees. Left arm going back. Get the shoulders 
Done. Shoulders just getting loose up. Now let's get a quick shoulder stretch. Stretch and catch it first. Stretch. Fling it open. Stretch the other side. Hold it for two or three seconds each side. One to three seconds. Whatever. Just keeping it moving. Fling it. We're pretty much going to be going straight through on this, this workout with these bands, especially here in the beginning as we just get into the flow. All right, you're going to take one of your monster bands. We're going to show you the three different positions we're going to be rotating through the monster band circuits. We have a push-up position, so we're just going to get in that right now. All you're going to do is hold the push-up position right now. So you're going to loop your thumb around this monster band. You're coming behind your back, under your armpits, and loop the other thumb. Because when you're in the push-up position, you want it this way. If you just hold it this normal way, it's going to flip over your back, and you, you want it under your armpits. Just hook your two thumbs, so when you're on the floor, your palm will end up on top of it. Go in the push-up position. So it's on your upper back, but under, see it's under my armpits, under my elbow, so don't whack me in the head. All we're gonna do is just hold here for 30 seconds. Hands are lined up under your shoulders on this blazing hot floor. And we're just holding it. Hands directly under your shoulders, so your core has to stay tight to just not pull you down. This is our push-up position. There's three positions of this band. We're just starting with this push-up position just to show it to you. And done. Next one's gonna be your squat position. Stepping out with both feet in a squat base, feet apart. Grabbing it with an overhand grip and just tuck your elbows in like you're holding a bar up in your neck. And we're just gonna hold the squat position right here. Just to get used to that position. Keep your back straight, just holding it for a few seconds just to get you warmed up and learn these different holds. Cause we're gonna be rotating between push up position, this squat position and come out to the deadlift position. So gonna grab it like this, hold the two ends. Step on it with both feet, with your feet just hip width apart, not shoulder width apart, so a little closer. And here's our, our deadlift position right here. So right now all we're gonna do is pull this back for a row and just hold it. Just squeeze those muscles, just get used to this position. Just to get used to the movement. We're holding it for just a couple seconds. And ease it out, just to get you warmed up to learn the position. That's push-up position, squat position, and deadlift position. We're going right back to our, I need that thing. From this here, Scott, I'm Scott. I need those sound effects. So we're going, that's advanced sound effects. You didn't know we had in this channel now when I point. Look, we need that pole over there, the band, and now your thicker band. We're going to go through a full circuit of exercises. Grab the band, start with a chest press. Feet are straight across, squared up, right arm, elbow out 90 degrees, and we're going right arm chest press. Breathe out as you're pushing forward, into your nose coming back. Just a moderate amount of tension. We're still just getting started. We might get to this round later. If we have time, we're going to do it with a lot more tension where it's a lot more work. And for many more reps. Done. Flip it over. We're just going 10 each side. Right? Left arm. Chest press. Breathe it out. Push forward. Flip it around. Right arm. Get a little tempo to it. It's only a freaking rubber band. We're gonna turn this, these strength type movements into a cardio effect by working. Major, what in the hell are you doing? And switch the left arm, row. Just pulling straight back. Hand to your rib. Squeeze up the left side of your back. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Done. Put in your right hand, stand sideways to your pole, to your band. And you're doing a right arm chest fly. So arm is straight, arm is out to your side, squeezing it in. Going about 10 each side, each exercise. And flip it, left side. Squeeze it, breathe it, squeeze it. And face in, I'm gonna do a right arm pullover. So face in, I'm gonna have angles so maybe you can see me. I'm, arm is up about shoulder lit width and just pulling down to the side of my leg. But I'm dipping down, pulling over with your lats, your triceps. Keep your core tight so you're not leaning to either direction. Good sides, left arm. And right arm, bicep curl. Arm up in the air, parallel to the floor, hand comes to the ear. Higher, higher arm. 
trying to get an angle so you can kind of see what the hell I'm doing. And not just looking at my ass crack like I'm fixing a refrigerator. Left arm. Yeah, bitch, that's naked. It's on point. Look at that. Excellent. Yeah, just a floppity. Use that bicep. And right arm. Lean over at the waist for tricep. Palm down. Elbow stuck to your side and kick back. Squeeze the tricep. Number 10. Stand up straight in between so you're not stuck down at too long. And left arm. Kick it back. Elbows glued to your side. Just bend and extend. All right. So we're going to go to our exercise band. If you have two different levels, I'm going to go a slightly thicker one this round because we're done warming up. Done with this little sissy shit. Although I'll probably be grabbing it later because this shit is hard. All right. So we're going to go with a push-up walk, a squat walk, and a deadlift walk. So the same three positions, we're now just gonna actually be moving in those positions. So don't forget the three positions, push-up position, squat position, and deadlift position, where you hold it from the sides, right here. We're gonna hit those three in a row. Each round, there's gonna be just three different exercises, one for each of those positions, and we're gonna loop through it twice. You kinda know what it is the second time Freaking going around. So let's get in push-up position. All you're doing is walking side to side, a push-up walk. In the push-up position, right here. Okay. Let's go, begin. Just walk it across. So now you have to deal with that tension on the band trying to push you down while you're walking across the floor. Your hands are lined up directly under your shoulders. Hot floor, this floor is on fire, holy shit. It's gonna make us move fast, especially the black ones. Holy fuck. Hands work better. Faster. It's like quick. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, hand. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, hand. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, hand. Holy shit, it's on fire. Time. Right away. Squat walk. Right away, there's no break in between. Squat position. Hold it down, and we're walking across. So you're stretching out that bottom part, keeping tension on your glutes. Look. Band is never coming close together. You're controlling it to not let it come close together. And then back the other way. Tight, so move side to side, because then I'm coming off of Instagram. I gotta go remember the short camera. Stay low. Thighs parallel to the floor. Two inch steps. Glutes on fire. Head up. Chest out. Abs tight. Ha. Ha. Good. More than it looks like it would. I know. Deadlift position. So stand on hip width. How do you walk? Keep it apart. You're going to actually take two inch steps here, one inch steps, and your outer hip and glute. So you're not letting it do this and snap your feet together. You're keeping the same tension you started with, holding your arms up tight, like if you were walking on stilts. One inch at a time, keeping the feet apart. After a few steps of this little duck walk waddle bullshit, you're gonna feel some waddle bullshit burning in the side of your ass. <laughs> I can't move. This is a side ass burner. Do it right. But it's a, little, a muscle that's gonna support all your stronger movements, your jumps, your running, your squats, your deadlifts. Good. Right back to the first one. Hands on fire, suckers. Push up, walk. Shit was hot as fuck. Go. Go fast and you don't feel too much. This ground is hot as hell. Oh yeah. Suck it up. Good. Up. Right back. Do squat walk. Awesome. <laughs> that. <laughs> that sounds like a big mom. Down. Squat walk. Keep that tension. Stay low. In the grass. Head up, chest out, strong quads, 
strong glutes. Keep it apart. Good. Right to the deadlift walk. Glutes are gonna be on fire. That means it's 12 steps every, every square. Stand up, get that tension. Feet apart, hip width. And they stay apart, so keeping that tension on the outer hip. We want to get all technical. Technical. Keep it apart. Don't let it fling your feet together. Ah, and this burning. is just getting warmed up. This is just getting the muscles warmed up for the real movements. We haven't even started yet. All of these fucking suck. Good. Time. It's called work. Done. Shake it out. Stretch those legs out. That's just getting them freaking started. And we're gonna do all three of those positions again, except this time is gonna be actually doing push-ups, actually doing squats, and actually doing deadlifts. Actually, no, not even tight yet. Sorry, we're on the legs are moving this time instead of the arms. So we're on knee tucks, uh, squat to press with the weight, and then just a regular deadlift. Oh my god! With this band, we're still on this band for now. We're not going back to those other bands till way later on. So we're still on the monster band. So stretch those legs out, stretch the glutes, hips. You've been training hard, your legs are already sore starting this workout. Mine was sore as shit from our 24 hour freaking whale challenge. Stretch the quads, the glutes, hamstrings, hip flexors, hydrogenate if you need to, and get ready for the next Round. So always just three exercises, going through it twice. Nice, I'm gonna get some towel or something. Let's keep them on the floor for knee tucks. We're not gonna be able to do that. All right, let's do it. Push up position, you're going knee tucks in the push up position. I'm gonna put my hands on the concrete because it's already burning the skin off on these black mats. So let's go, we're in push up position. Oh, the concrete's fine. Knee tucks. So I don't know if Facebookers can see sneeze. me. I see. Hey. Knee tucks. Here. Back up so Facebook can see. No, no. So you're in the push up position. That weight, that band is trying to push you down. We're just knee tucking one leg at a time into the chest. Squeeze the core. That band wants to push you down, but you're not letting it. Hold your ground, keep your freaking abs tight. Back straight, hips down, hands lined up under your shoulders. Four more, one, two, three, four. And up on your feet, squat position. Going squat to press. So get in the squat position here. You're gonna squat down, press up as you come up, all the way overhead. Squat to press, go. Going to 15. Three. All right. Six. Shoot it up, breathe it out. Ab strong, extend those arms up. Five more. This is a... Last two. And deadlift position. Right into deadlifts. Don't forget, this is a band, so we're going to get a little more tempo than you normally would when you're holding weights or barbells, dumbbells. Let's go, deadlift. We could just doing a weight challenge. Leaning over and drive. So your butt back. Because we didn't get enough deadlifts Saturday and Sunday. If you did a band deadlift, what would be the weight? What? If we did a band deadlift, like right now. Nothing. I can't count the weight. Can't. Then why is it still work? Can't count the weight. Just the resistance, but we wouldn't count the weight. Two more. Done. Right away, back to those knee tucks. No break. Back to those knee tucks. You got to go straight through. Two rounds. Get on your little 
bitch napkin here. Can you go for water a little bit? No. Down to this camera. Down, back straight, tuck that knee to the chest. Squeeze the freaking abs. Hold your ground. Locked. Three more each side. And up. Squat press. 15. 15. Let's go. Both arms inside. This is not what we do when we're out. Squat down. Shoot up. Let's get a pump to it. Going to 15. 6. 7. Get a little rib rhythm. Still full range. Still control. Now bouncing. Time. Right away to deadlifts. Smooth transition. You already know the positions by now. So there's no break. We want to get that heart rate up. Right to deadlifts. 15. Go. Five more. Drive the hips. Squeeze the abs. Strong grip. Done. Shake it. Stretch it. End of that round. We're going to pick three new exercises. Woo. This one's going to be just a push up, a squat, and a bent over row. We want tempo with these. We're using these bands as a little resistance, but we're going to be going fast on our push ups. We're going to be going fast on the squats and fast on the bent rows. We're going to hit 20 of each. Back to back to back. Out. Get those shoulders ready, quads ready. Stay loose, ready to freaking rock. So three exercises in a row, one in the push-up position, one in the squat position, one in the deadlift position. Quick little sip and we're rolling on. Do it. If your ground is on fire and you're outside like us, get your little bitch napkin. <laughs> like we need it. We're little, little bitches. Push up position. 20 push ups, speed. Then 20 squats, speed. 20 bent over rows, speed. Right back 20 push ups. So we're doing six sets in a row. That's 360, 120 reps non stop. Let's go. Push up position with the band. Going in three, two, one, go. Ten. Shit's a lot harder with this band pushing it down. For 20 sets, 20 reps. Let's go right to squat. These are just regular squats. But when you come down, is this supposed to be loose? On the push up, yeah, of course. Let's go, 20 squats, one. So when you're up, you're down. When you're down, you're up. Constant movement without banging on your knees. You know how speed you need to go so you to keep your knees safe. Five more. To the deadlift position, but we're leaning over. We're bent over rows. 20, go. Ten. Twenty. Right away. Right away. Right back to push-ups. Twenty suckers. Deal with that resistance. Suck it up. Go, 20.
Holy shit, the last couple got freaking, freaking hard with that band flinging your face into the ground. Squat position. All right to it. 20, go. Nine. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your glutes. Nose down, out the mouth up. Three more. And deadlift position. Finishes off this circuit. Bent row for 20. Go. Eight. Nice. Twenty. Oh yeah. So we're taking strength movements. And a little more resistance with this band. Going a little faster and explosive than usual. Which is jacking your heart rate up there. Take a break, recover, hydrate, and we're ready to roll. We're going right back to this monster band. Even faster pace movements. Even faster pace. Stay loose. Stretch it. Shake it. Get ready, hydrate if you need to. Keep on rolling. So if you didn't know, I drink my pre-workout, which has a concoction of Herbalife and Trulene supplements. I start drinking about 30 minutes before we start the workout. So by the time we start the workout, it's about halfway done. So I fill it up right before we start and then I sip it the rest of the way through. It's that second half of the pre-workout. Pretty much lasts through the workout, mixing that with just regular water. I have another bottle of just regular water next to this one. And it's just a couple sips each chance you get. Post-workout recovery drink is already ready, pre-made, as well as a post-workout meal replacement, which will go about 30 to 45 minutes after that post-workout. I have a post-workout, small little drink, and then a middle patient shake that'll go right after that. And that'll hold me over till it's time to eat some real food. That's just the post-workout, post-workout strategies. Having stuff ready right away. If you need any help with your supplementation, your nutrition, your just meal timing, how to break it down, exactly what you should be eating, the timeline of your foods, the timing of the foods, your, your meals compared to workouts, when you should have what types of meals, just set up a, a consultation. We could talk about it. We could break it down, look at your day, where you're at. And that's what we go over on a daily basis in our various coaching programs. So you need additional next level help with that stuff. It's much further and beyond the scope of this, this workout we're doing. We're here just to get some sweat and kill some fucking fat. But if you need help with the nutrition and actually breaking it down for you on a personal level, down to the literally down to your, your macros and all that good stuff you can send a message and we will hook you up you talk about it all right let's get ready for this next round it's gonna be a faster paced round yes it's a faster paced round this round sucks makes the last no. one makes the last round look like a joke all right so push up position we got mountain climbers squat position we got squat jumps and deadlift position we're just gonna go bicep curls but fast speed pumping bicep curls just to get the legs a break because you're gonna be your, your heart rate's gonna be through the freaking roof so the mountain climbers were going 40 squat jumps were going 20 bicep curls were going 20. oh yeah fuck yeah Wait, where are we going 40 so get your little bitch biscuit or whatever i called it napkin. Bitch, bitch napkin push up position mountain climbers 40 total so that's just 20 each leg fast full speed Holding yourself up, resisting this damn band. Maybe you don't have a band, just get one of your neighbors to sit on your back or something. Hopefully they didn't eat too many Cheetos. <laughs> anyway. Oh, anyway. Really? Why, did that offend someone if I said they don't eat Cheetos? Is that, is that offensive? It's a free show. Complain to management. management. All right, let's go. Bog in the mole. Let's go. Mountain climbers. Two, two four, four, six, eight, ten. Four. Fast, I'm almost 
all over like an old man or some shit. Let's go, squat position. Let's go. 20 squat jumps. He's gonna absolutely suck with the suckery that we love. Go. And keep your feet flat in the air or else that band's gonna whip you in the ass. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Like that. 10 more. If you're not with me on count, please don't count aloud. Done. <laughs> Bicep curl. Deadlift position. Reach down low a little bit. So you have more tension. So you're kind of bunny rabbiting these things, ear, bunny ear in this shit or whatever. Go, 20. <laughs> 10. Second round. Two rounds of each. Let's go. Come on, go. Come on, thing. Come on, come on, come on. And, go. and go. Two. Two four. Six. Eight. Ten. ten Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Thirty. Two. Squat jumps for 20. Go. Get in that squat, squat position. Jumps. I want to see it. This one did feel good on my knee. Go, 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 go. And Show me. begin. Five. Ten. Oh. We're going to jump a rope. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Two feet flat in the air. You get, then you have to do this. It is a weird jump. All right. Bicep. Biceptionals. 20, pump it, go. Full speed. Ha. Ha. Faster than you normally would do. It's just a rubber band. Time. Get that round. Didn't raise your heart rate. I'm here to tell you, you are either God or you're bullshit on your pace. Your heart rate should be up if you're pushing the pace that it should have been, especially if you're using this damn band. Your heart rate should be jacked to the roof right now if you were pushing it. That was 40 mountain climbers, 20 squat jumps, 20 speed biceps, right back to 40 mountain climbers to 20 squat jumps. 20 more speed bicep. That shit will jack up your heart rate no matter what shape you're in. All right, this next one. We got plank jacks for our push-up position exercise. So that's push-up position, feet jumping apart and together. For our, band, our okay. squat, we got squat to press to jump. So while you're jumping, now you're pressing overhead. And if you're like me, your quads are already fucking shot. And then that's going with deadlift to row. So from the deadlift position, we're gonna do one deadlift row and stand up. So you lean over, one row, and stand up. Just combining the deadlift with the freaking row. And listen, on these little breathers in between. If you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, have a question on something we're doing, whatever it is, just what's up, billionaire Banyo? I can't see the rest of it. We just this is this is just you can get these on Amazon. There's so many sets you get on Amazon, they've been around the whole time. And I have like literally probably not even joking, 15 or 20 full sets of these. Four different four different bands. Four different resistance levels, and I have at least 15 sets. I keep four sets just in my truck at all times, so we all always have equipment no matter where we are to work out. Then I keep them in the home gym in the garage. I keep a full set in my travel bag for when I'm traveling and on the road. This goes right with me 
in my travel stuff. So I always have a little mini gym. I have a little small tra travel bag. It has these, it has exercise bands, a TRX, some sliders. So no matter where I am, there's no excuse for not getting shit done. It's all lightweight, fucking crazy workouts you can come up with, unlimited amounts of exercises and circuits you can do. You get your strength, your cardio, your core, conditioning, everything. All right, stretch those legs. Last sip, and we're going to it. It's gonna be another pretty fast pace round. Little sip of the freaking hydrogenation. Get those legs ready. Our legs were already shot. They're still recovering from finishing Sunday afternoon. 24 hours of weight lifting. Yes, you heard it. We did 24 hours of weight lifting. So stay tuned. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Steve says episode number 95 coming up. It's all about suffering. And why would anyone want to suffer? Why would anyone want to do a 24 hour challenge like we just did? And I'm going to go a deep dive into all the lessons and reflections and creations that come out of that shit. It's a whole different level of creativity, of reflection, and just find out who the fuck you are. Much like the project, if you're a man looking for the project, is here in Southern California, four day event for men in Southern California. June is sold out, August is damn near sold out. So if you want in on the project, to come down here for four days, put a message out in the comments or send me a private message and we'll talk about that. All right, we gotta get rolling. Push up position. You see, I babble when I need, when my legs need a break. So it looks like, you know, I'm just pretending I'm telling you all this stuff, but it's really just letting me recover. Cause I'm sucking fucking window. What? You know sucking wind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. When you out of breath? Yeah. One time we were in a workout in the dungeon and suffering at, at your, my, your, your grandmother's house. I had What's a gym dungeon? in their basement. Their basement I turned into a little gym when I first came out of the Marines. She came over to work out and I had like five people down there for a group workout and that little shithole, there were nails sticking out of the wall. And she says, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, I'm, I'm sucking window. Everyone looked at the window and wondered, what the fuck is she talking about? Because there was a window there? They're like, you mean you want to open the window? She's like, no, I'm sucking window. So you think you mean you're sucking wind? Wait, did that oh, actually yes. happen? Yes, true story. I'm not making, you can't make that shit up. I'm not even funny enough to make up something like that. I'm not that creative. You can't, who ever make oh that up? God, yes, that really happened in front of a group of people, yes. And they all snap like this at the window. What they thought there was something wrong with the window. Tell me that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Plank. Everybody laughing. Look, they can't even work out. Flight jacks. <laughs> go. 20. Two. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Double. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Nine. Grab strong. Back Nine. straight. Nine. Hands under your Nine. shoulders. Keep counting so I can talk. Six. Bounce Seven. to the step. Balls to your Eighteen. feet. 19. 20. This is going to be a squat to prep. Oh, shit. Down. Next one here. Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. All right. No, no, Squat no, to no. jump to press. 15 of these. For any overhead. Even more of a chance for you to whip yourself in the ass if you like that shit. Go. Deadlift a row. 15. Because it's a four count exercise. So look, check it out right here. One, two, three, four. That's one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Hello? One, two, three. Four, four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. Hold, ho, hey. Seven. Hold, ho, hey. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. I can't hear. Ten. Ten. You sound like wussies. Eleven. One, two, three. Twelve. One, two, three. Thirteen. Piss off the neighbors. Fourteen. One, two, three. Fifteen. We're moving out anyway. Fuck them all. They won't find us around the corner. <laughs> Mage? What are you doing? Mage, you did zero. I was watching you the whole time. You did zero. You did this. I was watching. You were doing the moonwalk. You, you're gonna moonwalk. Moon you're moonwalking. Go again. You were doing like midget moonwalking. That is not a plank jack. Those are midget moonwalks. Mage, no. Start your sit over. I'm not telling you. And not sliding. All right. Jump it. Jump it. Plank squats. Jump. No, I'm gonna hit myself. Fitting. Three, two, one. 
Alright, freaks. Oh, we got no, we're missing one. Deadlift. Deadlift rope. Right to it. I saved you from smacking. Trying to see what that message is up there. I think it was someone just flipping me the bird with an emoji. Go. Hunt! Ho! Hey! One! Two! One faster! Three! On my count! One! Ho! Hey! Four! Hunt! Ho! Hey! Five! Hunt! Ho! Hey! Six! Hunt! Ho! Hey! Seven! Hunt! Ho! Hey! Counting out loud and making them stupid noises while I'm counting. That shit gets me more out of breath than doing the damn exercise by itself. Did someone actually flip you the bird? No, I thought someone did. Oh, I get flipped. I get flipped the bird in emojis, literally on a daily basis. Stop stepping on my notebook again. I get flipped the bird through emojis on a daily basis. Why are you throwing it over there? Why are you throwing it over there? Okay. You're both going inside, so they're inside. You're both inside. You go sit yourself. Okay. All right. We are going back to your exercise band. It's going to be a punching and reverse punch round. So you're going to start with the band behind you, pivoting. Punching, full speed, 15 with the right arm, 15 with the left arm, sit your stance. Then you're gonna flip around and do a reverse punch. It's like a row with a 90 degree twist. 15 right, 15 left. Then you're gonna go 20 right punch, 20 left punch, 20 right, reverse punch, 20 left, reverse punch. So just two rounds, each side, two sets of each, 15 reps first round, 20 reps second round. You don't see resolving anything, it's just going to be the rest of the night. I told you to go inside and resolve it, I don't see resolving anything. Right handed punch. Right leg is back, left leg is forward. You're going to pivot this right foot when you snap it forward and turn the wrist. 15, go with some speed. Hey, four, whip the hip. Breathe it out. Get that left hand up. Turn the wrist over. 15, 15. Left arm, left leg back, left leg back, right leg forward, band is in your left hand, go. One, two, Pivot. three, turn that left foot, four, five, get that right hand up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Flip around, reverse punch. So it's a row with a twist and a pivot of the opposite foot. So my right hand, I'm pulling it back while I pivot the left foot and turn to my left. 15, go. Six, three, four, five, six, Pump it. Seven, twist it. Eight, nine, little speed ten. to it. Get little tempo. All right, be done. You're done. Please remove yourself from the premises. No, please leave. You just confused the whole group. No, this is not. Please join the other two. You're all just kicked out of this group because none of you can stay focused. Rip it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. And we're going to flip right back to the right hand and punch for 20. So you guys still haven't resolved it? So why are you still just standing? So they come back out when you're done resolving it. So just learn the band. Right hand, punch. For 20, go. Five. Is anyone going to count so I can talk? Seven. Eight, Give it the right foot. Nine. Ten. 
10, Breathe it out when you push forward. 10, Twist the nine, wrist. Eight, Please. Seven. All right, we're going to start that set six, over. We're going to start five, that set six, over. Right hand. We count one to 20. All right, let's go. One, two, two three, four. Give five, it the right foot. Six. Speed, throw it out there. Seven, eight. That's her. Nine, Boom. 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pump it. Five more. Pivot that right foot. Last two. Switch left arm. 20 punches with the left hand. Go. Ten. Ten more. I'll count and I'll talk. No problem. So, 13. Twist the wrist. Pivot the foot so no one can count. 17. 18. 19. 20. Right hand. Reverse punch. And begin with speed. Go. One. Two. Pivot that left foot. Three. You're turning. Five. 90 degrees eight, to your right. Seven. Eight. Twisting nine, the wrist. Ten. Squeezing the back. 11, 12, 13, 14, Pump 14, it. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Left arm. Pump it. Goes. Pivot. Pivoting the right foot now while you pull back the left arm and twist to the left. It's like you're pulling a punch back. Your whole body's been turning 90 degrees. Your face. Your chest and everything. If it's not, you're probably going too fast and no one's going to be able to keep up with your count. Your whole torso needs to turn along with your face. All right, 10, 11, 12. Turn your whole body 90 degrees. Going to the counter. He's going quarter reps. He's like, one, two, three. Time! Does anyone have a problem with the instructions of this course? Explain the man. <laughs> Shake it out. Shake it. Stretch it. We're going to be back to our exercise band coming up. This one's going to be a little bit different of circuit. We're going to, we already finished off with the push up, all the push up position exercise, all the squat position exercise, and the deadlift position exercises. These are all these exercises going to be in a split squat position. Four different exercises going to be split squats and some triceps. What time is it? Do you care what time is it? Do you got somewhere to be? Yes. Where you got to be? Okay, go. If you're having an appointment, go. All right. There's two different versions of the split squat we're going to do. Split squat, split squat position we're going to do with this band. The first one is going to be under your front leg. So check it out. Just stepping on with my right foot. I'm going to step back with my left foot. And I'm going to get this into the front squat hold. So my right leg is so from a side view. Look, the band is under my right foot. And let's go. We're just going to hit a split squat from this position. Yeah, just sit up there and hang out. That's good. I'm going to drop it straight down right here. Going to 10. Back knee comes near the floor. It might graze the floor, but it shouldn't smash the floor. And switch legs. You need to hold up higher there. No, great. Let's go. Left leg forward, right leg back. 10. Roll down, sit on the hip and the heel of the front leg, sitting back on the glute. All right, now split squat position. You're gonna step on with your right foot, but you're gonna step all the way through with your left foot. So now your back foot has that on it. You're gonna reach both of these hands all the way up and overhead. And we're gonna go back for triceps right here. Pump it. 20. Two. Are you counting? You can do it. Nine. Ten. Six. 
All right. Now just step back with the left leg. So your right foot is on the band still. And right back to that split squat, right leg. Except now we're doing a jump for 10 reps. Go, so feet stay in place. Look, a little hop. Five more. Left leg forward. Split squat position. The so left leg is on the band. Right leg is back. 10 split squat jumps here. Left leg forward. Your left foot on it. Step in with your right. And now try set with the other leg. Holding it. Really doesn't make a difference with the leg. 20, go. 10 more. Time. All right. We're going to finish on our backs with a set of flutter kicks. What happened? Still with our band. What? So while we're kicking, you're going to hold pretty close, hold it however you need to, double it up if it's not thick enough. You're going to do a reverse fly while you're flutter kicking. Play with the band that you can break it up, set it up however you need to. The other part might be flopping around, whipping you in the face or the breasticles, but just deal with it. 100 bent flutter kicks. I said 100 squid bent flutter kicks. So get on your back. So it's a reverse fly with your flutter kicks. Figure out now how you need to hold it to get your arms all the way across. I think that's going to work for me. 100. So finish off. Three, two, one, go. We're counting the flutter kicks. Two, count four, six, eight. Just the hands, ten, how many need to? 12, right. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 32. Keep your abs tight. Four, Keep pumping six, that reverse fly. Eight, Tension on the upper 52, body. 52, 4, Full speed. 6, 8, Pump that band. Six, Find a rhythm. 2, two 4, Find a rhythm. 6, Press that lower back to the floor. 72, June coming up. Let me tell you what's coming up in June. My birthday. There is a whole shitload of stuff coming up in June. We have, and this is exactly why I moved out of California for the craziness that's going on in the different their corporate culture so they could be better leaders, work better as a team, treat the business as if it's their own. So tons of stuff coming up in June. So many different things going on. And on top of that, we also do private coaching for fitness, for business, for mindset. If you need help with that, so any of these things, so much going on in this month coming up, crazy month, crazy activities, it's gonna be a shitload of fun. Just send me a private message, we'll see which of the different programs, I know it might sound confusing, there's so many things going on, but that's just the way it is. So send me a private message, we'll hop on the phone, I could break down any one of those for you that you might need help with, that might be a good fit for you, and we will talk about it. It's all coming up this month, the project is every two months, the project is in June, August, November, and we're already starting to sell for February of 2022. That's how much it's backed up and there's a waiting list for the project. So specifically, that's in about 40 minutes from now. So I will see you over there or right here and here on Facebook and Instagram. I got a great setup for that. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. I'm sure the freak shows have something they want to tell you. No! Yeah! Very, very, very normal children. I can't imagine where you get it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.